everybody. Hi, it's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. It's a Tuesday afternoon and I have been working out here. Oh my goodness. I'm standing right in front of Mr. Bones. Let me show you. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Now this is not stitched down, but I have done all of the cutting for the pieces and everything. And it's just adorable. Oh my goodness. I am loving this. I think it's so cute. Now I have to go through and do the hoopings. So for my new subscribers, hi, welcome. What I do on this channel a lot with my embroidery machine is, so I'll take a paper applique pattern. There's not an embroidery file for this already. All right, so normally you would take your sewing machine, once you have all of this done, you would cut this out like, you know, using a light box. You would trace around it on the back of heat and bond or something and then cut it out. Well, what is my husband doing? Oh, he has his table. He wants to show you his table. Here he is. He's coming in the door right now. Hold on just a second. <laughs> so, <laughs> come on. <laughs> he made a table. Okay, let me stop what I'm doing and tell you what Keith's been up to. A lot of you may know that last year at the Houston Quilt Festival, Keith visited a booth called, uh, one of the vendors called Legit Kits, and they have these amazing paper pieced quilts. Keith, would you get the, uh, the fox? He's hanging right there, or she, Autumn the Fox. Anyway, so Keith saw this eagle quilt. And he said, oh, I really want that. Would you make that for me? And I looked at it and I saw it was paper piecing. And I said, oh no, I don't do that. That is not fun to me. And so I said, if you want it, you make it. Well, he did. He bought a sewing machine. Like I don't have one he could use, right? So he bought his own sewing machine and he bought his, do you need pins? They're right here. And he bought the Eagle quilt kit. But they also talked him into getting, you can go ahead and, careful, there's pins all in. I don't in. care about your pins. I know you don't. <laughs> I don't care about, you don't care about my pins. So, there they are, yeah. So, he, Hi. this is my husband Keith from my new subscribers. So they talked him into doing Autumn the Fox. And this, look at this fox, this is crazy. Can you uh, back the camera up a little bit so we can see all of, Arm the Fox? Why, certainly. Okay. Oh, you sound nice now. Oh. Okay. Go ahead and flip that. Yeah. Now you can see. Okay, so this is Autumn the Fox, and this is completely paper pieced. And this was Keith's very first quilt. He still has the Eagle quilt, but he worked all last winter to put this together. And I'm very proud of him. He's done a great job. It still needs to be quilted. And I am getting very much more familiar with my long arm because it, when I quilt this, I definitely want it to be uh, done right. So, okay. Flip that back around to me. I don't like you. <laughs> Turn the deal so I can see myself. Other way. He needs some training, doesn't he? Okay, stop it. <laughs> so while he was doing all of this, he became intimately familiar with the mechanics of paper piecing and what all was involved with that because if you've ever paper pieced anything, you know it's stitch, fold, press, or cut. Stitch, fold, press, cut. Stitch, fold, press, cut. So he was working on a sewing machine that was on a table. He bought the brother what he really needed was was a cutting and a pressing table condensed right where he was sitting so he could stitch cut press stitch cut press stitch cut press well for those of you who have watched my channel for any length of time you know he likes to build things so he built his own table let me show it to you Let's talk about your table. Why don't you go into that? Okay, so I don't have this beautiful sewing room that my wife took away from me years ago. Oh, you, nobody feels All sorry I have for is you. a little space with my sewing machine. 
and I just got tired of sewing here and then have to go over here to iron. So I wanted something small that goes next to me so I can sit there with the sewing machine and do my cutting and then also my ironing. So I made this little, you can make it a different size, but I have my ironing board. Oh, hold on a second. I gotta bring the camera down so they can see that. Here, show the mechanics of that so again. So I have this arm here that folds down. Nice. Which comes right up. And they're really simple to make. And then I built my own ironing board here. And then I took one of Becky's cutting. Yeah, I pads. sacrificed a Martelli mat, you guys. So, you know that hurt. And so he, I have that. And it, he trimmed it to fit. What did you use to trim the mat? I just used a router. Oh, okay. You used a router. All right. And he stained it in the oak like he likes. He wouldn't paint it white like I like. So is that a piano hinge or what is that right no, there? No, that's just regular hinges. Okay. And I got that fabric from So Yeah Brothers in a kit, I think. There we go. Yeah. And then you've got a little piece of wood up under there that that wedges up against to hold up straight. Great. So inside of the pressing surface it's the same as I have on my pressing surface that he made for me it is a layer of insole bright and a layer of clear vinyl and a layer of 8020 Hobbs 8020 it might be a hundred percent cotton and then the fabric on the top and the insole bright is a heat protectant from for the wood and the vinyl is a moisture protectant for the wood and then how did you affix the mat to the what is that like e6000 no i use rubber cement because that cement. way when i want to replace it i can take it off okay and steal another mat from you and <laughs> get it plus it has the shelves you can put more shelves in there so i can put my rulers and everything and everything be next to me at the sewing machine so I can I don't have to get up and I can do my squares which I'm fixing to start the Eagle soon after the probably after the show after which, Houston yeah. I get Becky to buy me another one so <laughs> what are those casters just these are heavy-duty casters you can get smaller ones again this is what I had in the shop when I started but you can lock them down so everything here is what you had on hand except for the mat you stole from me. Appropriated, yes. <laughs> That's a government term, appropriated. <laughs> and he's been wanting to show this to y'all for a while. Oh, oh gosh. So yes, we are going to Houston. We're leaving the 28th of October and we are, that is for a quilt market. And Keith's gonna be- The photographer. My, my cameraman. Okay. Not photographer, cameraman. Cameraman. Cameraman, yeah. Bus driver. <laughs> Bus driver. And then he will be at the show with me and he'll be popping in. We're going to go on the cruises, right? End of January. End of January. Come the, on. Come on, yeah. The 22nd through the, um, I think it's the, the 22nd of January is so and sale 11, and then the 29th of January starts so and sale 12. So and sale 11 is sold out. So and sale 12 has a couple of seats left. So Keith will be on board with me for both of them. If you want to bring your spouse, there'll be entertainment at the casino, right? Where were we? <laughs> Y'all, there's never a dull moment in my house ever. It's amazing. Keith keeps me entertained for sure. <laughs>So November 1st, I'm doing a dime event. It's it's free to sign up for the dime event and it's a Sally Tomato. And that is a bag making company. Hi, I'm Diana Mullins Atkinson and I'd like to personally invite you to our Sally Tomato embellished handbag event. In this virtual event, Dime has collaborated with our good friends at Sally Tomato to bring you some exclusive patterns and kits. I'll also be demonstrating how to use embroidery to embellish your handbags. 
I'll share tips for embroidering on faux leather, cork, and vinyl, and I'll show you how to create continuous embroidery designs for long straps, and how to use your embroidery machine to quilt on your handbag fabric as well. For this event, Dime has teamed up with our good friends at Power Tools with Thread to bring you a very special presentation. So join me, won't you, for our Sally Tomato Embellished Handbag event on November 1st at 3 p.m. Central Time. Selling. I'll see you there. But this is going to be a lot of fun, and so please join me. I'll put the link below for you to sign up, and whether you make bags or not, you guys, if it's time to treat yourself for Christmas, okay, and any dime products that you need, you can get them at their least expensive price during those events, and there's always a code for free shipping. So if you want magnetic hoops, if you've been thinking about getting the uh, weightless quilter, if you need to restock your printed, your, your target paper, your print and stick target paper, uh, anything, any of the stabilizers, you want to get a new bunch of exquisite thread, maybe you want to get King Star for Christmas, that, those metallics, the absolute best metallic thread on the market is King Star. Uh, this is the time, so sign up for that event. And then if you can't make it on the first, you can watch it for 48 hours after the event and then they take it down. So when you sign up, you'll get a link in your confirmation email. That's your link to go watch the event. So I'm usually yakking with the girls for the first five minutes, 10 minutes or so. And then I let the professionals take over and do their thing. And then I jump into the chat with you guys and we get to visit over there also. Sulky. You guys have heard of Sulky? I don't show them a lot, but I use Sulky products all the time. They're an embroidery supply company and they sell a lot of stabilizers. I know you guys have seen these in Joann's. This is like Sulky Salvi. They've come out with a new product called Perfect Applique. So Perfect Applique is a a substrate that you can put on the back of applique pieces that you're going to iron down during your applique projects, whether it's embroidery or sewing or whatever. I really like it. I just tried it and I did a lot of these pieces in this and also in the Gnome for the Holidays, this tree farm pillow. I used perfect applique in this as well. Selke asked me, because I like to do applique quilts, they asked me if I would do a webinar for them. So November 8th, I will put the time and everything below. You're going to see emails coming out about it. So I'm working with Selke. We are going to do a cup of cheer mug rug. And it's a free webinar. And if you want to get the kit that goes with it, it comes with some soft and sheer cutaway stabilizer. You get, this is a freebie, the mug rug is a freebie. You also get a package of organ needles. You're gonna get some sulky sparkle because that we stitched that in the background. See that sparkle in the background, isn't that cute? It's adorable. You're gonna get the embroidery file. You're gonna get SVG cut files. You're going to get PDFs you can print off and have all of your uh, pattern pieces there if you don't have a cutting machine. And then you're gonna get all of these threads and you're also gonna get some perfect applique. And you're also going to get some art gallery fabrics to make the mug rug, okay? So what this is is going to be a skill building workshop using a cutting machine. So if you have a cutting, it doesn't matter if it's a scan and cut or it's a Cricut or maybe you have a silhouette, but if you're new to cutting fabric with your cutting machine, this is a perfect opportunity for you to check this out. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Again, it's free, but Julie from Designs by Juju has graciously given this embroidery design and we're going to make this mug rug and you're going to get the design for free along with all of the SVG cut files for all sizes in the embroidery design because this this is the five by seven and then I think there's a six by ten and an eight by twelve there's a whole bunch of different they've got one big enough that it'll be like a placemat so it's going to be a lot of fun November 8th 
and we're going to do a free webcast with Sulky. I'm very excited about it and I hope you can join me. It's going to be a lot of fun. Have you guys seen the new Hallmark ornament? Not a paid promotion, you guys, but I'm such a sucker for these. I used to get them all the time when I was a kid from my grandparents and I got them for my son all the time. Not the sewing ones, of course, but let me zoom in so you can see. It, it, the name is So Cheery Snowman. Look at him, isn't he cute? Check him out. He's adorable. He's got a little spool on his head with some pins and a needle. So cute. And then he's got his little tape measure for his scarf. He's just adorable. So cute. I like to collect these. So this is a Hallmark keepsake ornament. So cheery snowman. I'll link to it below if I can find it, but I got it out on hallmark.com. That's where I got mine. So, hey, there's a couple of spooky boxes left. They haven't done the reveal yet for this, so I can't show you what's inside, but there's a couple left. So if you're interested in doing this, these are fun. They're just something to do. You'll always get super cute fabric. You'll get a pattern. You, there's other little things in here and, uh, you know, notions and whatnot. So these are, these are a lot of fun. I think you'll like it. All right, so what I was explaining before I was so rudely interrupted and my husband hijacked my video is I will take a paper pattern like this. This is a paper pattern. There is no embroidery file for it at all. Well, you scan it into the scan and cut and the file that's created by the scan and cut can be put into Simply Applique software. This is exactly what I'm gonna be demoing with Simply Applique at the Houston Festival when I'm on the main stage, is how to take a paper applique pattern, scan it into the scan and cut, take that file, import it into your computer. You'll use the scan and cut to cut out the shape so you know it's gonna fit perfectly. And on your computer, you're gonna turn it into an embroidery file because with one button, you're going to get the placement stitch, the tack down, and the final blanket or satin stitch. It's an amazing, amazing process. And that's why I like doing these, you know, these applique quilts that have so many pieces on them because it's not hard. So, you know, here going around the pelvis bone, You'd have to stitch on the inside too. You've got to flip your stitches on your sewing machine so they go the right way, right? And it's stitch, stitch, stop, turn, stitch, stop, turn. Don't want to do that. Especially around lettering, that's awful. So look at this. I finished the gnome bench pillow. All done, look at that. Now this was done using that process. I used Simply Applique for some of it. I used Embrilliant Stitch Artist 2 for other pieces of it. Everything was done with an embroidery machine. Everything. Let me get up really close so you can look. All of the trees. And I'll get up super close so you guys can see how incredibly perfect the stitching is on all of this. And it was done with an embroidery machine. So if you have an embroidery arm on your sewing machine that you have not used, I highly encourage you, take it out of the box, start to play with it, figure it out, look at your book, don't be afraid of it. It's just another way, instead of you moving the fabric like this, the arm is moving the hoop that is moving the fabric. And it's it requires some other threads and whatnot and some stabilizers and that kind of thing, but my goodness, it's a lot of fun. And this is what I tell people all the time. Embroidery has changed over the last five years or so where it used to be embroidery was just do a onesie or a monogram or, you know, only the commercial people did hats and all that kind of stuff. But nowadays there are so many projects that you can do. Embroidery digitizing companies like Designs by Juju, Planet Applique, Kimberbell, Embroidery Online from OESD, all of these companies have come out with the most amazing designs and they've got placemats and table runners and wall hangings. Speaking of which, Sweet Pea, we are going to do the Sweet Pea Cross and Christmas Flowers starting on October 24th. I got their Glitter Nude. I was looking for gold. And this is Glitter Nude, so it's almost like a silver. I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna use this. Like I mentioned in my last video, I might use this for the cross. Now this I got at Walmart and it's a knit. 
and a commenter made a good point I'm going to stabilize this knit before I use it to stitch on my sample with probably either like Pellon's 911F which is a really lightweight stabilizer. It's it's a non-woven stabilizer, but it goes like into collars and cuffs and shirt bands and that kind of thing. Or some SF-101. Again, another Pellon product that's a woven stabilizer. So I might put that on the back of this. So we'll see how it goes. Hey, I got some patterns from Fat Quarter Shop. I was just shopping around and I love these. This is Ivy and Fern Crib Lap Twin and Queen. What a beautiful quilt. Just lovely. And I got Painted Meadow. That does a throw lap twin and queen. And then this is Desert Daybreak. It's a single finish size. But I, I'm going to zoom in real close. This is the whole quilt right here. And I want you to see this. Y'all could totally blue and white that only different shades of blue and make a snowflake quilt. Isn't that gorgeous? That is so pretty. So this is called Desert Daybreak. What a beautiful quilt pattern. It's just lovely. I like it. So I've got Desert Daybreak, Painted Meadow, and Ivy and Fern. Very nice. Hey, my new t-shirts came in an extra large. I'd ordered more extra larges because they sold out. That's like the most popular size. They are in. I have more. That's the light pink with the crew neck. Y'all, I can't get V-neck t-shirts in light pink. I wish I could. There are none to be found. Again, on a boat in the Pacific somewhere. Other of these shirts in the green and the pink have been ordered and they are being processed and on the way right now. Villa Rosa Designs had something that came out on the What's New Wednesday and I picked it up. I just loved it. Let me zoom in so you can see. This is called Crafting Magic Moment in Time 5. This is the large scale print. It's a floral. It's just gorgeous. It's kind of a soft yellow dark cream color with rust and burgundy and plum it's just beautiful this is a very light i got fat quarters from it as they had some fat quarters available okay there's the plum or burgundy with orange beautiful floral and then this is the same as the big one i showed you before the this big this other big piece right here this is a backing i got this for the backing they have a green they like have little trees on it. They've got tossed bees. Look at that. On a beautiful lilac. Here's a stripe. Just so pretty. This is beautiful right here. So I got the, I think it's like 12 fat quarters out of this whole line. So pretty. Gorgeous. I, maybe I should back up a little bit so you can see a little bit better. And here's a half moon. Oh, this is adorable. Look at this little fox. Isn't that cute? So they, it, it's in a couple of different colors. There it is in like a that lilac color or plum. And it has an owl. Look at that beautiful owl pattern. Lovely, lovely stuff. When you order fabric from Villa Rosa Designs, there's a place on there for notes, and I wrote, use child's play pattern. So when it comes in the mail, I get it, and I look at my note, and I'm like, oh yeah, I wanted to use child's play for this. <laughs> so I'll show you a picture of child's play, but I think that's beautiful to feature those beautiful fabrics with the fox and the owl and the large scale florals in here. This is going to be a beautiful quilt. I, I can't wait to get it done. The bees and everything. So pretty. This is just gorgeous fabric, you guys. Again, if you order from Villa Rosa Designs, there's no shipping. Isn't that nice? She takes such good care of everybody. I love it. You guys, this has been great. And thank you so much for visiting with me. Please give me a thumbs up. That helps the channel a whole lot. And I will see you in Houston. We'll talk to you soon. Y'all go say something. Bye.
Hello, ladies. How you guys doing? I just gave them some fresh water. They're enjoying that. They're getting so big, my goodness. We got a total of six, so these are all of them. We had to put a, like a sunshade on the front of the cage, coop, sorry, uh, from the sun. It, we get this west sun every afternoon and they don't like it, so they'll go inside. Uh-oh, we've got migration. <laughs> Keith gave them some grass. They love grass. Hi ladies, you gonna say hi to the camera? These are all my Power Tools with Thread viewers. Yes, pretty girls. 